Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Octopath Traveler 2. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. We did things. We did many things. And none of them can be talked about ever again. And JK Lantern. <laughs> Still sockless. <laughs> You're gonna freeze soon, aren't you? Yes. His feet are not that cold is the thing. <laughs> not I don't know, to he's you, been leaning. But... His feet may be very well endothermic at this point. Because he's been putting his feet on my knee, and it's like, no, those are pretty warm. <laughs> so, in the la in Octopath Traveler One, <clears throat> we approached the game. We started with character one, Hanit, and then went through Octopath. Mostly, we we kind of moved Tressa down a spot. And we did that for every chapter in the game. We did all the chapter 1s, and we did all the chapter 2s, and chapter 3s, chapter 4s. This game handles chapters a little differently, because some characters have multiple chapters, multiple sections in one chapter. Some characters have, as you've seen with Oswald, you run two chapters back to back. So you can't really do it evenly. So we're probably going to jump around a little bit from the order we took on the chapter one care chapter ones, and we're going to start off our round of chapter twos with Throne. Yeah, yes, we are. Yep. Specifically, uh, Throne has two chapter twos, and she also has two chapter threes as well. But that's getting ahead of me. Yep. Um. Mother's root and father's root. Yep. You may notice I this is also level seven. Yep. You may notice that our characters are a tiny, teeny, tiny bit above level 7. Yes. Mm -hmm. just, just a little. Yeah. So, I don't expect this chapter to provide difficulty in terms of mechanics. But this chapter may provide difficulty in terms of content. I don't yes. know. We are yes, finally to the point. <laughs> we're finally to the point. I don't know what happens in the story from this point on. I'm going, I'm going to get ahead here. Content warnings. Um, if you don't like bad things happening to kids, Throne's chapters, probably not for you. Yeah, considering the life of the Black Snakes, you, you might see where that's going. Yeah, I'm, I'm imagining. I'm already <laughs> imagining what's, what some of the stuff we're going to see, considering Mother was the recruiter out of the two. Anyway, let, let's head that way, shall we? Mm -hmm. And I hadn't walked in here with Throne, huh? So, to win the freedom, must kill both of her parents and take the keys. And now we need to find out where Mother's gone. At least she went out to get cigarettes. When Mother is looking for new recruits, she goes to the saddlery in Oars Rush. Particio? <laughs> what were you letting happen in this damn town? <laughs> I think the first question should be towards Pap, since he was running the damn place. And actually, by extension, Rock. Yeah, since well, he's the well, landowner. We, we know what's going on with Rock a little bit. Mm. But, but, but you remember I made last time, uh, last recording session, I may have mentioned, like, every time we went past the saddlery, I'm like, I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> it's common knowledge in the nest. Though no one really knows why. And it's the only clue I have. Now, to find that saddlery. That way. Horse. Horse. I mean, the thing is, this is a fairly remote town. And it doesn't really have much of a law enforcement presence outside of PAP and, you know, until recently, Particio. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, Blackjack. Blackjack, I hear you, but I don't see you, and that worries me. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> we have a person with a hockey mask on. Looks like a hockey mask. Oh my god, it's Jason Voorhees. Quick, check if there's an old lady with a beat-up red sweater. What's this? I'm gonna scrutinize you, sir. Hidden item. I'm gonna steal your shit, sir. Just yeah. on general principle. Just on principle. It's on top of the water. Well, no, it's on top of the water. It looks like it is, but it's not. Yep. It's an optical illusion. Just like giraffes. So you've already scrutinized him. <laughs> what is it with you and giraffes? Clearly they're demons. You saw that episode of Owl House. <laughs> I did. I yeah, was but... at work. I didn't get to watch that with you guys. <laughs> I'm, quite en I'm quite enjoying Owl House. Um, well, it man. reminds me a little bit of Gravity Falls. Well, Tersh is part of it. Hire for cheap. That's not bad. Hi, Pap. Hmm. Bald. 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 Look, I usually, I usually wear a hat, but I gave it to my <laughs> boy. <laughs> Particio can complain later. We just stole his father's stuff. <laughs> He's probably getting drunk at the at the pub anyway. For Chichio drinking? I can't imagine that. Alright, take your bread. <laughs> sir. Sir. You're not supposed to be on this side of the counter, sir. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. My store now. <laughs> God, I wish... <laughs> I wish there was a Tornado Taloon mechanic in this like that. Where you could just walk in and take over people's stores? Yeah. Tornico Taloon being one of the greatest JRPG characters of all time. <laughs> That's a five star recruit, basically. With a slash. Right this way. Slash? What's Guns N' Roses doing here? <laughs> What's this? I like this guy's backstory. Mm. Especially because he goes from, like, knight to cowboy, and those things shouldn't go together. I mean, you say that, but wasn't there a movie called Cowboys vs. Aliens? Yeah. <laughs> You're even better. Yeah, that that's better. Yoink! Right this time to bring in Indiana Jones. Except Indiana Jones doesn't use a spear. No, he uses a gun. Yeah, he does. Well now. Oh hi, Gif. You've fallen on hard times, haven't you, buddy? And time to get harder. Yep. He's basically the Biff of this universe. Aww. You wanted to ambush him, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> well, 
well now. Yoink! I have no guilt for this. No. Let's see, the saddlery was like right here. Yeah, I think it was right in the middle there with the big horseshoe dude. Thank you for your patronage. I shall prepare the goods post haste. I remember there was a guy in here selling saddles, but he packed up and moved when the when the town died. Yep. Yeah. In the meantime, please wait at the tavern. Oh, you did want that last one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he is shifty man. He's a shift tree? Might I help you find something? We have an array of goods made of cloth and leather and even others with chains. Inky. I'm not here for horse gear. Is there anything about horse gear? Milady, this is his saddlery. Is that so? What did that man purchase just now? He didn't seem to have a horse with him. Hmm. You have a keen eye, milady. Alas, that man did, in fact, bring a horse. With no name. We can hear the air quotes, dude. I saw it with my own eyes. I would not be able to craft the proper gear otherwise. I wonder if this guy made Oswald's muzzle. Hmm. That is an interesting question. Did he know? Is that why Oswald is a horse? I mean, he he is stated to be well muzzled in one of the travel banters. Yeah. As I suspected, it isn't a saddlery at all. It's a phony. A big fat for this phony. Horse, it must be what I need for the exchange. Which means that man from before has one without a doubt. I suppose it's time to see a man about a horse. With no name. It'll have a name eventually. What's this? Hidden item? Hmm. He's not carrying a horse. He's carrying candy. That. He's carrying silver. <laughs> we I just know. stole candy from a small child. Your point typical. being... I was gonna say, typical Wednesday at this point. Well, no. And you were gonna want to steal something off, yes. Yep. Yeah. Whatever you do, do not sell that pickaxe. You? I don't think you can. It's uh in the wrong part of the inventory. It looked like. Okay. Good. 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 See, it's in. It's got that little mark next to it, <laughs> which means it's down here in the valuables. So I don't think I can. I don't think I can sell it, even if I wanted to. The, the pickaxe is used for something very specific, and it gets you something amazing. Hmm. Woman with a roundhouse kick. I can't you have take too his many grapes. grapes. Yeah, yeah, I've got too many grapes. We have to find a duck. Uh. Or at the very least, a lemonade stand. A horse coin. A 
See, a horseshoe would have sufficed. Oop, shiny. Candy. We got candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Back again, I see. Saddle up. Kinky. Kinky. <laughs> well, I made this time. I brought my horse with me this time. A genuine thoroughbred. Huh. So you have. Where the hell did you get that? That means I can finally treat you like a customer. Huh. You sure don't make things easy for your clients. Aye. For mine is a very exclusive business now what are you after what are you buying <laughs> mother of the black snakes she's one of my best customers your request is beyond my power well then Good thing it's not a request. Damn! Throw Damn. those words. No, no mincing words, huh? Mm -hmm. Nope. As Particio said, not far from here, it'll be your hide if you don't. Your mother is meeting a man I introduced her to. Throne's stuff is arguably darker than Primrose's. Uh -huh. He runs the slave trade and is doing business in the town's old foundry right now. You you read that correctly. <laughs> Particia, what the hell was going on in this town? <laughs> Particio, you're my favorite, but what the fuck, man? <laughs> Again, are we sure it's just not Pap doing this behind everyone's back? Know these words. I mean, we know Gith and Rock had the run of this town, but um, they've kind of taken it back. Mm -hmm. Drink from the cup in your left hand. Remember them well. But in, but in the. That script, Jehovah begins with an I. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my favorite Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> Be prepared. I Be prepared. Lives may be lost before he is willing to talk. Good, we have to make him a gelding then. A small price to pay. Throne and two other characters are in a race to see who can have the darkest storyline in this game. Yep. It's a close run race. Yeah, let's we'll see how their final chapters go. <laughs> Fr frankly, at the point we are. It is anybody's game, and that worries me deeply. I'm still being followed. Jason's back. They've been trailing me since I arrived. I'd better get rid of them. This chapter is genuinely one of my favorite moments in the game. I assume that's from the headphones. That is from the headphones. <laughs> Amateur. Several moments in Chrono. How did she story. do that? 
she's that good. Yeah. I mean, she was in the alleyway. Huh. Who are you, and why are you following me? Where do you go, party boss? I'll find yeah. out whether you like it or not. <laughs> Steal the mask, huh? At least it's not having you ambush the kid. No, at least it's not having us just gank the kid, no. I'm through playing games. One could argue she's never played games. Face. Yeah. <sighs> Was that my imagination? Not that it matters. Your imagination oh, for focus. what? I must find that slaver. I think it'll come up again. Yeah, it should. I mean, the easy guess is she knows the boy from somewhere. Hmm. Well, we finally find out what this building's for. Yep. But for now, I think we need to take a quick break. When we come back, it looks like we're storming the mansion. Or what's left of it. And the building's missing a few windows there. Anyway. Until then, take care, everyone. Later. Bye-bye.